Okay, so a little tutorial really quick. I have a customer to call me up. He's doing some uh, pro panel work and he's got a switch, uh, this kind of switch that he wants to put, uh, disconnect switch. So this disconnect switch comes in a three part component. You get the button uh, and then you have also the switch itself that goes to the back plate. And you also have this rod and the problem seems to be the rod for some users due to the fact that the components here, I can put it on a door, I can put this on a back plate, but the rod itself, um, since it comes in a per delivered length and sometimes you can chop it off depending on the on the need because the panel is made Maybe not so wide. Uh, you, you, this is something that is a variable length that you uh, you can select, and that seems to be the problem. Because in uh, Pro Panel at the moment, we don't have the option of creating 3D uh, elements, so this could be a problem for some users. So I'll give you a little trick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to my backplate, and my backplate, I'm going to uh, drop in that switch. So in the switch, my backplate. So I'm going to grab here my backplate, right click, I'm going to go to show just the mounting panel go to the front of it and I want to drop here a that that switch that I have so it's my Q1 switch so I'm going to grab the base of it I'm going to select it here drop it into my pro panel back plate and I'll place it about here that looks good and here what I've done uh, uh, the little trick I've used is I actually grab that component and this component which is the the the, the the part that goes into the back plate on where the, the rod would go the rod would connect about in this area right here um, what I did is basically I assigned a mounting surface so I have here a mounting surface that I've assigned to the top part of this so when I drop in uh, my rod it's going to snap onto this uh, section right here and basically all it is is just to drop in a mounting surface on this particular so here I clicked and I grab it's going to select any type of mounting surface that you want to select that you want to you you want to make and in this case here I just want the top of the circle to be a mounting surface so that's all I did so if I go back here to my uh, back plate go to graphic so this section is done this this particular um, uh, component is placed and what I want to do is I'm going to place the the front part of it so I'm going to place the button itself so I'm gonna basically what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show the front door and as, as and have also the back plate shown and why do I want to do this is because when I place the button itself I want to make sure that I'm going to be placing it right on top of that in the, in the middle section of that uh, component so basically they're gonna line up so I'm gonna grab my button here and drag it out and basically here I'm just going to switch with the letter A my snap point and I'm going to go right over it and just click on that and that's how now I know that I placed it in the middle and now I have the component lined up with the button and all I'm missing now is the rod now the trick that I used to do the rod is here I just picked the side view and in the side view I need to create this rod that goes from this point about here to the bottom part of this section right here. So to do that, basically all I did is just a measuring. So I measured those two points. And how do I do that? Is uh, here I'm going to select this element right here. I'm just going to give it a slight rotation angle so I can grab the poop two points. I'm going to use my measuring tool. And on my measuring tool, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from this point right here to this point right here which is going to give me an approximate value of 375.62 millimeters. So that's an approximation. So I know that if I go a little bit over I sh to about 380 millimeters, I should be okay. I mean, the, the, the rod is just going to go inside the button, and that's not that big of a deal. So I keep that number in mind, three, uh, about 380 mil. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to use this, this tool called the uh, Heekscat. Now, the Heekscat tool, um, you can download this uh, off the website. It's free. It's a pretty nice uh, 3D modeling, modeling editor, uh, absolutely free, and it's kind of nice for these kind of uh, scenarios. What I want to do is I want to drop in a cube, and the cube is going to come in. It's going to have a width and a height of 10 millimeters, so 10 millimeters is about okay. I, I can make it bigger, make it smaller, just by changing the values here. But what I'm interested in is in is that the, the, the depth, so the Z, because that's going to be my, my, my rod itself. So here I'm going to give it a 380 mil uh, length I'm going to accept here and what that's going to do now is that you're going to have here a 380 millimeter rod created really quickly and what I'm going to do now is all I have to do is just save it so I'm going to go save as select here as a step file I'm going to put it on my desktop or uh, yeah desktop and here I made a, a few tests but I'm going to call this 
380 millimeter rod. Save it as a step file. And now I can close this up. I don't need that anymore. I can go back into my pro panel now and I've, I have here a macro project and inside my macro project, so here uh, I have all the different components you know that you need to create a macro project when you're making these kind of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import that uh, 380 millimeter rod. So I'm going to say open and it's going to bring in my component. So my component should be, I believe it's this one. Yeah, there you go. So there's the rod. So the first thing I need to do now is I need to uh, place a uh, mounting so a, a placement area so I'm gonna grab here to find a placement area which is gonna be the bottom of it click on that so the, if I look at the front view of it rotate this a bit yeah that's definitely the bottom the, the, the bottom view that I selected as being my placement area and I'm gonna define a handle just to be you know um, good workflow I'm gonna define the handle with my control key I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna click on this corner so he's gonna drop in my handle smack in the middle of that rod and all that's left for me to do is just to right click here properties and I need to create this into a macro I'm gonna turn that into a 380 millimeter rod 3d macro so I'm gonna save this up save hit OK perfect so now all I have to do is just go back to my pro panel and I'm gonna to go to the back plate I'm gonna to go to the front view and here I'm gonna grab and I'm gonna insert my macro so I'm gonna insert that macro that I made go up one and this one here and I dropped it in here 300 oh I have to generate it of course so for those of you who are trying to keep up with me um, we have to go here to utilities generate macros automatically from macro project yes so he's gonna do them all and he's going to do my rod as well and once that's done I'm going to have that macro uh, that's going to be generated automatically and all that's left for me to do is just going to be to insert that macro into my project so I'm just waiting for this to get done okay so now that it's done I'm just going to go back into my back plate show enclosure right click show mounting front view zoom in hit my letter M grab my rod it's gonna be right here uh, 3d macros I have a whole bunch of them there we go click on that and I'm just gonna insert it it's grab my handles on the middle and I'm just gonna place it over top of the middle of the circle and it's giving me my placement area so I'm gonna drop it in uh, number it sure it's gonna number the, the, the device itself and if I just rotate this a bit now there's the rod everything looks good and if I display uh, the whole panel then I can see now that the panel is whoop, I'm gonna just make it a side view like this really quick I have my rod coming in everything looks clean it's going into my button it's going into the back of my component so that was a quick way to draw that element um, another thing too that you can do is you can actually go to um, this uh, no, not in the Heatscad, but uh, you can also go down to the uh, to the website of uh, Siemens website. You can also download the part itself. So if you know the, the part number itself, you can download it. I downloaded it and I got this component here. So here is the component in its uh, in its entirety. So you have here a uh, the bottom part of it. You have different sections of it. So you can actually start bringing that in and you have the rod that comes with it but the rod what I found comes in this whole you know with the whole section and the bottom clip and everything like that but this is a set length set diameter so if you have heeks cut you can bring this into heeks uh, cut off the rod kept keep the other bottom parts and uh, you know uh, do the rod the way I showed you just by you know measuring it and it's going to give you the length that you need all right so I hope you enjoy it and if you have anything uh, just uh, let me know and comment